Shutterstock is a great place to be able to get stock photos and even graphics or icons and vector graphics if you don't want to spend the time to create them yourself. The challenge I have is that I can create graphics and I can work really well with Illustrator, but I can't create an icon family that looks the same. For me, I go to Google and type in an icon I'm looking for and pick the best one. And from there, I'll create a vector graphic just by looking at it. But I don't have a skill set to be able to create an icon family. So Shutterstock is one of the places I go to download multiple icons. Big Stock Photo and Vect Easy are places that provide a library of icons that you can download. I'll include a link in the description below. But the thing is, I work a lot with After Effects, and with that, it's a hassle to import a family of icons from one file into After Effects and trying to break everything down for it to be somewhat consistent and custom. I have actually found a way that allows me to look at the whole template, or icon family, import it into After Effects, and to basically choose the icon I want without having to do any cropping or any masking. It's super easy to do, but it does take time to be able to create it. In this tutorial, I'll show you how you can bring in one file that has multiple icons and then create it and customize it in such a way to where you can import it into After Effects and actually have those icons in the library so you can use them individually. So first, let's begin by pulling up our icon family. Here, I have an icon family pulled up in Illustrator. It's one file and you can see that there are multiple icons. Now what I want to do is make sure that each icon is grouped to each other. Meaning that this icon group is, is to this set, this group is to this one, etc. We want to be able to break all of these icons apart. So what you can do is, for example, if we were to have 20 icons, 9 icons, 100 icons, or even 500 icons, we want to create that many layers in our layer palette so we can bring it over each image into each layer. That's one way of doing it. That's the long way. And I've done that with a 500 icon set. It's not difficult to do, just time consuming. It's breaking up the icon set. So let's say you have nine icons and then you arrange each icon for their own individual layer to break them out. The method that I wanna show you is basically making sure that all the icons are grouped together so we can build out the sequence. This way it makes it super easy. Now we have to label each layer so when we import into After Effects, it'll become searchable, meaning that I'll be able to search for it in my search bar and find it without having to scroll through a tiny window. Before we save the file, we want to double check that this file's color profile is RGB and not CMYK. Save it as an AI file and open up After Effects. Here I'm opening up a new composition so that we have something to use, and then I'll press Command I to import my file. Import the AI file as footage and keep illustrator slash PDF slash EPS sequence unchecked. Click open. The import kind should be composition. Footage dimensions should be layer size and click OK. You should see a new composition named the same name as the file we had just imported. And you should also see a folder with a collapsible arrow that is the same name as the file. If you click on that arrow right next to that folder, it'll expand and reveal all of the layers that you have just created in Illustrator. If you drag them over to your canvas, you'll see that it might be smaller than expected. If you enlarge them using the scale effect, you'll see that they may appear blurry. Just go down to your layer properties and enable continuous rasterize, and it should be sharper now. I hope this helps you out and saves you some time. For me, it has helped me out to build my library of icons and assets for After Effects. It also allows me to better scale and align my objects because this method allows the anchor point to be precisely in the middle of my icon to accurately scale and rotate my graphics. If you have any questions or comments, leave them in the comment section below. If you want to see more like this, hit the subscribe button. Thanks and take care.